guys, so I want to apologize. There is a tractor doing its job right now. Uh, so don't mind that noise, but I am sitting outside. It is feeling so good. Oh my God, like it just feels amazing. 77 degrees right now, but it feels like it's like 97. <laughs> it's supposed to get in the 90s actually today, um, but it just feels amazing. I am very like always in the house doing my own thing, like pretty much spend all my time in my room. So when I do come out here to a actual blue perfect sky, I am a little quaky because it just feels incredible but I want to put my way in right here hey guys so May 21st day 16 Hello. So that means for some reason I'm up two pounds. I don't know. I only ate twice yesterday. The tractor is coming, so look at that little babe. <laughs> oh, she's like bye. So I'm going with Becky to her appointment. Oh my god. Look at how hot I am. I am super hot. I have the window open and the door. I have that window open. No air conditioning. It's now about 84 degrees. 85. So in the car it's probably like 90 something. I'm feeling really hot. I wasn't going to vlog but I want to tell you guys such good news. As for like this doll, I don't know. <laughs> Becky has some nephews, so don't get creeped out. It's just a little baby. <laughs> but um, I want to tell you guys good news. I was just sitting out here in the car and, you know, waiting for Becky to be done with her appointment. And I got a little phone call. It was the weight loss center. So they called. I am so thrilled. I have an appointment set. It is in a little bit. It's, it's kind of farther away than I thought it was going to be, but... I think it's probably because there is probably a busy center, but I'm super excited. I have an appointment ready booked and I just wanted to let you guys know the great news. I'm really excited. So now I have two appointments scheduled that I will be attending because as you can see, I am now fitting in the car. The swelling is going down a bit. Plus I'm just like forcing myself, just got to force yourself. So yeah, I have two appointments for mental and physical. So it's super exciting that I'm getting stuff done. And I know you guys aren't gonna see this video for a while. I kind of like how I am spacing out videos and you know, just it, it's working for me. It's making me feel, you know, a lot better and less overwhelmed. And I personally have really been enjoying 100 days of weighing in, even if I forget to weigh in because it's a good way for me to check in. After the 100 days are up, I don't know what I'm going to do because it's like, I have really been enjoying this. So maybe we can do a round two after this 100 days. I don't know because by then I will have seen the weight loss doctor. <laughs> I'm really nervous to hear what he has to say. Um, it can go one of two ways, super strict to the point of like, I'm going to like keel out or it can be actually not as strict as we're all like actually assuming it's going to be. I don't know. It could really go either way. But yeah, I feel like talking is making me sweat more. I'm not really sweating. I don't sweat. A lot of people, I mean, I've sweat in the past. Like you guys have seen it in videos where I've glistened a little bit. But a lot of people, um, I've actually seen people are like, how come after your workouts you're not sweating? I really don't sweat much, you guys. That's like just the tea of it. Like I'm not a sweater. I am going to be drinking some of this water because your girl is hot even though this is not one of the greatest waters for you but water is water at this point i am super thirsty and it's hot so <laughs> so just got home we have a little child we have a little child who missed her mama she's trying to crawl on me <laughs> hi no 
Oh, don't <laughs> lick inside my mouth, sweetheart. That's not cute. <sighs> Let her do her thing. Um, I didn't even want to go back in the house. I just wanted to stay out here. Um, yeah, so whew, it's hot, but it feels like I need it. My lipstick, my lipstick is coming off. It's it's a whole freaking stipulation. Stipulation? That's not even a word. Situation. Situation. Oh, is she peeing? Oh, God. I have my leg up on here. I'm all comp. And then this foot's getting sunburnt. I feel it already. Hi, twink. Hi. Did you have fun while I wasn't home? Did you get yourself into some trouble? Because I feel like you probably did. I feel like you probably did do something. I think she's lost a little, little weight. She's a couple pounds of her weight. And for her breed, the vet said that her breed, that does happen. Um, nothing to like worry about too much, but I worry because I don't want to lose her, you know? Um, so I'm trying to feed her less treats and... So I usually give her two a day. I'm trying to only give her one. And I think it's helping. <laughs> oh, isn't it, baby? She gets mad about it, though. <laughs> and I've been letting her outside more to play, walk, run, jump. And we play a lot of fetch, too. So, yeah. I'm just going to let her do her thing. I'm going to relax out here. I really wish I had, like, a um, table or something to put out here and some chairs. That would be really cute. One that twink. My angel. Hey guys, it's the next day, so I did look, you know, halfway decent. Um, I had earrings in, my makeup was better, but I just got done crying. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I didn't weigh in, and it's for no reason other than I am just mentally... You know what? Instead of burdening you guys with what's going on and just how I'm feeling, I'm going to fix myself, breathe, listen to some music, touch up my makeup, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Or let's be real, it'll probably be a good hour from now or something. But it's just, I'm really trying to think before I word vomit on YouTube because I just really don't want to burden people with anxiety and depression and feeling lonely and like things I'm going on in my life that like I don't want to seem like pity me or listen to me complain because that's definitely not my intention. Okay you guys so hello I'm a little more put together um I think you know after you cry it out you can either wipe off your make it makeup and leave it off or wipe it off and put it back on. For me, I know sometimes when I put makeup back on, I feel better, but my eyes are kind of swollen right now, so. And I know a lot of people are like, Amberland, why are you sitting in your bed? What are you doing? I am I woke up swollen again, and you know, it's that gravity life, you know? I have fluid in my legs. No, I don't have heart failure. That is a big thing that people keep saying. No, I do not have that. <laughs> but, um, so I get swollen from sitting in the car yesterday. I sat in the car for over two and a half hours it was about. So proud of myself. It's good to know that I can do that. And, um, you know, just sitting outside a lot yesterday. I don't regret these things and these things I will continue doing. It's summertime. Well, it's about to be summertime. And I just want to enjoy outside. And I don't want to be hoarded up in my room all the time. It's pretty... Cagining. It feels like I'm locked in a cage, honestly. Today is May 22nd, which is day 17. I just looked on my little calendar. Yes, it is day 17. And if anyone doesn't believe me about like the dates, because I know that's like a thing, I'll show you. Hold on. All right now I'm listening to music. So yeah, May 22nd. 
right there. So, 101 p.m. Oh, 102 now. I have actually been waking up a lot earlier. I woke up at 8.30 and from then on, it's kind of like my day has just like completely gone downhill. So I'm trying to snap out of it like pretty quickly. It's hard. Um, I really feel like I want to go on Amazon and buy the Law of Attraction book and read it because I've heard a lot of recommendations on it and I kind of believe in that type of stuff and I wonder if it'll help me feel better. So something I just want to kind of document for my sake, your sake, whoever's sake, is now that I have a weight loss doctor's appointment in the next two weeks, I feel like, oh, well, since I'm going to be getting help then, I can eat whatever I want now. And it's a subconscious thing that I am having like to really work on. Like it's really annoying, annoying, annoying. <laughs> It's really annoying because it's like I'm sitting here and I'm just like, well, you know, I, I could just keep doing my last hurrah for the next two weeks. But in two weeks, if I honestly, I'm going to be honest, if I ate absolutely everything that I wanted to and I caved into binges in two weeks, I could easily gain 30 pounds. Easily. So my goal is to not do that. My goal is to lose I don't want to do anything crazy and drastic. You know what I'm saying? Five pounds. You know, even just maintaining means that I'm not binging. So I know a lot of people are going to roll their eyes at that because some of my weight can lose. I have hair everywhere. My hair's so long I can't. And it sheds like, <sighs> but because I know there are people out there who are like, oh, you can lose five pounds in like two seconds. I'm just trying to be realistic for once. I'm like a realism person. So anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you, oh, I mean, this kind of is a vlog, right? 100 days of waiting in, still kind of vlog style. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.